The spring 2024 anime season has delivered us a spectacular set of amazing and some of the most beautifully animated fight scenes. From long-awaited confrontations to surprise fights, we're presenting our top 20 fights of spring 2024. Let's start off this list with a fight between Tatsuya and Tomitsuka from the brand new season of Irregular at Magic High School. Now, I know what you're thinking. Isn't that the anime with the slightly awkward sibling fan service? Yeah, yes it is. But trust me when I say, if you stick around, it's actually going to make you care about the characters. Season 3 of Irregular at Magic High School showcased a fight between Tatsuya, the MC, and Tomitsuka, the cutie of the school. This fight isn't only visually appealing, but also keeps you on the edge of your seat. Why? Well, because the two friends are fighting on par with each other, or at least that Datsuya was just going easy on him. I'm genuinely wondering how the hell did Datsuya keep fighting with a straight face till the end, while Domitsuka was making all kinds of faces, basically struggling against Datsuya. Datsuya's calm and calculated approach, while Domitsuka's energetic fighting style created a contrast between the two characters, which makes this fight scene even more enjoyable. Still though, if Datsuya wanted, Domitsuka would have been demolished much earlier. Next, we're going to talk about the series that gave us a breath of fresh air in the world of fantasy anime, where Farlin fought everyone in Delicious in Dungeon. Apart from classic RPG and isekai tropes, this is just as pure as fantasy can get. And let me tell you, they cooked so hard. This anime has a fair share of fight scenes, but the fight that caught our attention was between everyone and Farlin, Leos' sister, was consumed by a red dragon, and that's when she turns into a harpy. Now, Farlin straight up wipes up three parties and shows everyone who's the boss. But the highlight of this fight, Garbaru stabs Farlin in the most brutal way out of literally nowhere. On top of that, the animation was simply beautiful, not something you'd expect from a show like this. There was also that brutal moment where Farlin squished that poor woman. I couldn't believe what just happened. Everything about this scene was on point and it was truly terrifying to watch. Everything just went from 0 to 100 real quick and I'm quite sad that not a lot of people gave this series a chance. It deserves the attention from this moment alone. Good thing that dead people could be resurrected. Moving on is another moment from Kaiju number 8 that shocked viewers at just how good it turned out. If it wasn't obvious by now, Hoshino is basically the Levite of the series and it makes sense since both of them are vice captains as well, but right now he's up against one of the strongest kaiju in the entire series. You can feel Hoshino's confidence, even though kaiju number 10 would have killed him in just one punch. What's more badass was that Hoshino was completely overwhelming the monster, slicing and dicing him as many times as he could, but what he didn't expect was that 10 wasn't at his full power. I love how unpredictable this fight is and how it shows that even if Hoshino is known as the defense force his strongest close quarters combatant, he can't handle everything alone. The studio adapted the entire battle pretty well and the animation was solid. Just look at how fluid and dynamic the choreography was and this was made even better by just how cold Ten's entrance was. <laughs> Ah yes, Densura, the anime renowned for its jaw-dropping fight scenes and stunning artwork, especially during the time when Hinata Sakaguchi fought Rimuru Tempest. This list wouldn't be complete without a fight from Tensura, whose new season premiered in the spring of 2024 and it just hit us like a meteor. This fight scene involves Rimuru facing off against Hinata, the true saint. We get to see Hinata's epic sword skills that genuinely made Rimuru worried for his life. But wait, Rimuru's Microsoft co-pilot isn't going to let him get sliced and diced so easily. Rimuru gains a new skill that allows him to intercept Hinata's movements, saving himself from a potentially fatal stabbing. This fight scene is such a visual treat with the smooth choreography that draws you right into the action. The way they used angles was so good to the point where you'll feel like you're dodging sword strikes right alongside Rimuru. Hinata's surprise attacks add a twist to the scene and keep our eyes glued to it no matter what. 8-Bit Studios really delivered with Season 3 and we can't get enough of it. Apart from the animation, the sound effects of this fight were godlike. <laughs> Thank you.
Moving on, we have a brand new anime that broke the internet as soon as it came out. Higan, the John Wick of anime, faces off against his old pal Zai, who's adamant on eliminating the former ninja. Now, you might get turned off because of the CGI used initially, but as soon as their suits break, the real fight starts. It's the epic hand-to-hand -hand combat between the two fighters that makes you actually feel the impact thanks to the dynamic cinematography. In the end, Higan emerges victorious, but let's take a moment to salute Zai for at least trying to kill the MC. He held out against Higan for what felt like an eternity. He may not have won the battle, but he sure won our hearts with his determination. This fight scene is a masterfully executed sequence, making it one of the best fight scenes of spring 2024. It really kept us on the edge of our seats because neither Higan or Zai were ready to go down easily and they gave each other a really tough time. If you're enjoying this video so far, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Be that shonen hero in our life. Don't shy away, okay? Your one step will help Vinitube to continue making such amazing and banger content for you. Make sure to hit the notification button so that you can be updated every time we post a new video. All right, let's enter the top five. Slashing a spot on this list is Sanemi and Obanai versus Muichiro in Demon Slayer. <laughs> With the Hashira training arc on roll, we're really looking forward to the events that are going to happen after this arc. But to prepare for what's to come, the Hashiras as well as the low-ranking Demon Slayers must train themselves. Muichiro decides to train with Sanemi and Obanai and the three of them start fighting in order to see the progress in their capabilities. This fight scene is so fast-paced that it's hard to keep up with everyone's movements. It showcases the incredible skills of the three top-tier Hashiras, giving us an insight into just how strong they are, or just how strong Muichiro is. You can practically feel the power radiating off the screen. Now, I don't know about you, but I never expected him to be that confident in fighting Sanemi and Obanai at the same time. Other than that, this fight scene adds an extra layer of excitement because the three Hashiras who have completely different abilities from each other aren't holding back while duking it out. Watching them train and fight with such intensity and passion is truly inspiring and sets the stage for the epic battles to come. <laughs> Coming from an anime that's either slept on or hated, we have Rudius's party versus the Manatite Hydra in Mushoku Tensei. Now, for people who haven't read the light novel, this was a completely unexpected battle and the outcome blew our minds and broke our hearts. So, Rudius' party was composed of seasoned veteran adventures and despite that, they were up against a monster that wasn't only immune to magic because of its scales, but could also regrow decapitated heads. The entire fight just felt straight up like a World of Warcraft boss battle. The father and son duo with the support of the rest of the party members showed us a masterclass. Even the animation was pretty insane. Although the second season was mostly a slice of life, whenever a fight would happen, Mushoku Tensei didn't hold back. The mix between 2D and 3D animation was seamless and sometimes you wouldn't even notice the Hydra was 3D. I'd even go as far as to say that Mushoku Tensei is the free rent of the isekai genre. In the end though, it was a pretty sad ending. They just had to release this episode on Father's Day. Blasting its way into the list is a highly anticipated battle between the All Might of America, Star and Stripe, and Tomura Shigaraki. <laughs> Now, My Hero Academia is known for its exhilarating and intense fight scenes and this spring, all of us knew that we'd be able to watch the long-awaited fight between Star and Stripe and Tomura Shigaraki. As soon as the seventh season of My Hero Academia came out, we got to see the two forces in action in the very first episode and it was awesome. Star and Stripe seemed like a hero too perfect for others to shine. Her quirk allowed her to manipulate and add rules for herself, her surroundings and even other people. However, during her fight against Tomura, she couldn't utilize it effectively because she was up against both Tomura and all for one, if you know what I mean. Of course, we won't spoil the outcome of the fight. Some secrets are just worth keeping. This fight was one of the most intense fights in the history of My Hero Academia. Everything from its animation to the character's movements was animated with great care and hard work, which didn't disappoint. I absolutely love the character designs of Star and Stripe. She's easily one of the coolest female anime characters.
After Tokyo Revengers, we have another anime about delinquents, Windbreaker. Yeah, yeah. I know all the manga fans were going haywire as soon as they heard about the anime adaptation because, boy oh boy, Windbreaker's manga is just insane. Especially the fight between Sakura and Jotogame, the guys whose fists will make you think you're getting hit by a truck. Sakura really had some guts going up against Joe because he literally butchered the poor guy. I mean, ouch. But hey, Sakura didn't go down without a fight and hurt Joe quite a bit. You know, other anime need to take lessons from the animators of Windbreaker on how to animate a hand-to-hand -hand combat scene. The way the animation instantly became so dynamic was just mind-boggling and it was like you could feel the impact of the hits. Not to mention the raw intensity and fluid motion in every punch and kick and nothing short of breathtaking, setting a new standard for action sequences in anime. The series really did justice to the manga with its story and the artwork was intact. We're finally at the top of our list and this place is secured by the legendary fight between Luffy and Luchi from One Piece. It was the perfect rematch between the two since they now have new forms and new attacks. They even recreated some iconic moments from round one like when both their punches collided and they got blown away. Luffy's transformation sequence was just insane and seeing Luchi smiling got me so hyped up. The clash was absolutely epic, with destruction raining down everywhere. Both fighters brought their A game and let me tell you, it was a showdown for the ages. I don't know what the animators ate but they should eat more of it because they went god mode. This fight kept our eyes glued to our screens because of its stunning animation and smooth choreography. One Piece keeps setting the by half for all of the other action anime to come and it's so impressive to see its animation so improved over all of those years. This fight between Luffy and Luchi isn't only the best fight of spring 2024, but it might be one of the best fights of the entire year. And with that, we're wrapping up this list of the top 10 best fights of spring 2024. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out the top 10 most anticipated new anime of summer 2024. See you next time.